the last one. Hello, I'm Ryan. Join me and my friend James as we travel through Alaska, where we come across beautiful wildlife and some of the most remote places in the world. Here's how we spend 18 days on board the MS Roald Amundsen with the Hertzgruten expedition team. <laughs> this is the MS Roald Amundsen. It's where we called home for 18 days and it's equipped with so much more than what my home has. As well as the usual amenities that you expect to see on a cruise liner, it's also got a true party piece. It has a hybrid engine that is used to reduce its carbon emissions. This is by taking away the peaks of the performance of the engine. The ship has been designed with exploration at the heart and has some unique elements that you might not see on a typical cruise. Perhaps when you're not sat at the bar having a few drinks or meeting new friends, you could visit the onboard science centre or you could learn more about the wildlife and the surrounding areas in one of the lecture halls. Okay, this isn't a lecture hall but it is the sauna and the heat here is generated from the engines. And before we left, we were lucky to meet the captain up on the bridge where he told us more about the hybrid engines. There are moments in life that you just can't replicate, and kayaking through Icy Bay in the rain is one of those moments. This is an experience that I will never forget. We carved our way through drifting icebergs as seals popped their curious little heads out of the water. On a cruise like this, you can never know when something amazing might happen. And this couldn't be truer than when we had to abandon our food as we heard the announcement of a large pod of whales feeding on the surface. We grabbed our camera gear and dashed to the nearest exit as we tried to capture the spectacle of around 100 humpback whales putting on a show for us. We were privileged to be able to visit one of the most remote islands off the coast of Alaska. This is Savunga. It's one of two small settlements on St. Lawrence Island and home to around 1,000 people. They taught us how they were able to survive the harsh winters and what they used to hunt for their meat, including using walrus skin to throw people high into the air to see over 10 foot snow. welcomed us with a traditional Savungan Eskimo dance.
And yes, we definitely got down and joined in. We met some amazing people on board with some incredible stories to tell. The other guests were so fascinating and they are well travelled. However, there was always expedition team or guest lecturers on hand to feed us with plenty of knowledge for all the wildlife that we got a close personal with. If it wasn't for her to groot and expeditions, I don't think I would have ever visited some of these unique places. Using the Zodiac boats, we were able to visit uninhabited islands like St. Matthew's Island and abandoned villages like Unger, where the land had been reclaimed by the wildlife. Put on the boat, swing your legs over, slide back. There are some people on this trip that have given me so much inspiration, and it was a privilege to share these memories with them. Alaska is a place where the wildlife flourishes and the land is respected. It is a land full of culture with many stories to tell and we were lucky to catch just a mere glimpse of that. Through my time talking to the onboard scientists and the local conservationists, I was able to understand so much more about local hatcheries and the importance of sustainable fishing. Alaska relies heavily on their fishing industry, and thanks to the continuous hard work of the conservationists, we can now see rivers thriving with salmon as they make their way upstream and in turn bring life back to nature. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and here are a few of my favourite pictures from the trip.